Hi, it's Christopher Grubb, and one of my favorite things about hosting segments for House Tipster is I get to meet some of the most interesting designers and artists around. And this is Allison Eden. She's invited us into her home to talk today about her illustrious career. Thank you for inviting us in. Thank you for having me. So, you know, your career is so fascinating. Uh, what I love first, you studied at FIT, Fashion yep. Institute of Technology. Yep, I graduated in fashion design. Yeah, so talk more about that because to take a career from fashion into all of these design elements, your artistry, what inspired you on that? And Well, I always loved fashion. I absolutely always loved interior design. My mother was an interior designer. Right. And I always loved art. And I wanted to meld together art, fashion, and interior design into one. I never knew what that really meant until I just started doing it. And I was able to create Alice Naden Studios, and we create glass wall finishings, all custom, made by hand, made in Brooklyn, and we've just branched out with Libatex to do a fabulous fabric line, yes. which I'm so honored to be a part of with Stacey Garcia and her team, and we've created these fabulous patterns out of my mosaics digitally printed into the fabrics oh, and no, it, dresses. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. <laughs> well, and one thing I love about interior design is young designers, there's so many opportunities. You could do lighting, you could do product, you could do what you did with, with the tile and everything. And so I'm very kind of architectural in my design and you have your tile that's architectural and then you have this artsy kind of flow and color. How do you do both? Because some designers get stuck in a look well, I love creating patterns, repeat patterns that just that flow very nicely. And then I also am very inspired by prints from the 60s, florals, very colorful, fun prints that can be translated into the home. Uh huh. How did that collaboration happen? Did she see your product or how did that happen? Well, you know, I do a lot of trade shows like HD in Las Vegas, BDNY. She was on the trade show circuit as well. Uh -huh. And we were just talking one day and she said, what about doing a line of fabrics together? And all I could think were dresses. Right. <laughs> like I, I didn't think of drapery, bedding, pillows, homeware. And I said, yes, yes, let's do it. Uh -huh. And so she made it happen. She came to the studio. We took photos of the mosaics mm -hmm. and we created this beautiful home collection, which I'm so proud of. Your creativity is super infectious as a designer. Oh. And so when I see your stuff, it's like, oh my God, I can play so much with this and, and make that statement. It's art. It's art is what you create. All of the prints are all created by hand in a world where everything's becoming, you know, you want something, you have it in five minutes. I love when, you know, you can create something with a designer and you have to make it all by hand. And right. Mosaics are one of the oldest forms of art. Yeah. So I was able to create that form and kind of make it modern. You told me a great story about artistic tile. You yeah. went in there with like a little sample board and we're thinking, I wonder if I can get in and do some sales and what happened? I went in one day because I lived across the street. They were just opening their first store and I had, I had a couple of samples in my handbag that I had made. I just wandered in and I said, could you see anything with these? Right. And the owner, Nancy, she said, I want you to do this, 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 this. And I started mosaicing the whole store. Right. And that was really my first foray into tile. I was like, wow, I created art, tile. This is art and interior design together. Right. And then when Stacy was like, let's do fabrics, I'm like, art, tile, and fashion, I'm done. Oh, yeah, my no, dream come you, true. You, you're the, the uh, triple threat on that then, right. in this I was, business. I was so excited because I always wanted to get back into fashion. Well, your career is serendipitous, but let's say that there's a, a, a student or somebody with a passion for art. What's some suggestions you have, one, in the creating it, and secondly, making it. Do what you love, do a beautiful product, give it your all, don't do anything half-ass. You have to be the person in front of your product. You ask, you can receive. Right. I mean, and I've been doing that ever since. You know, if I've wanted a project, I'll go after it. But you have to have a beautiful product behind it. And right. I love what I do. And it's all an experience. I mean, I started with $200. I mean, right, right out of college, I had 
no idea what I was doing. And I went for it. I made samples, I carried them in my purse. I just went everywhere. Well, and I think what's amazing right now is you can do an Instagram and you can approach designers and build relationships and hopefully the same serendipitous accident, I'll call it, that you go in like, do you like this piece? It's like, we like this. I do a lot of lectures and I talk about the fact, follow up, and I have a thing, until they tell you no, there's still an opportunity. Right. And a lot of people, especially if they're applying for a job, the person that follows up with me is who I remember. You have to kind of be fearless. And until you're told no, I think there's an opportunity. No is just the beginning. Yeah, yeah. I think there's an opportunity there. <laughs> I mean, there. you really want something. Somehow you're going to make it work. So I know you're to the trade. Where can we go find more information about you, your product, all that you're doing? Well, I have a website. Uh -huh. It's AllisonEden.com. Thank you for inviting us oh in our gosh. home Thank and you. just Thank getting you. to hang out with you. And, and I love your doing. I can't wait to see more. Thank you so much. Thank I really you. appreciate you coming. Thank you. <laughs>